Atu, what is wrong? An Imperial Star Cruiser, are you sure? Excuse me, sir. Hurry, Atu. Sir, sir, excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, sir? I will never betray my friends. Right, well, we've had a few complaints from the neighbours, sir. Um, do you live round here? I am from a planet many miles from here. Uh, uh, thought you might say that. Is this your dustbin? This isn't the droid you are looking for. Move along! <laughs> sir, there's been a spate of bedwars round here. Um, can I see the contents of the dustbin, sir? Oh, move along! Oh, R2, get help! Get help! I will battle to the last! <laughs> Sir, put the weapon down. I don't want any trouble. And moving on to line four, David from Cheshire. How can I help? Everyone in my family is a vegetarian. Is it right not to be? Well, David, as my mother always said to me, if God didn't want us to eat animals, he wouldn't have made them out of meat, would he? And moving on, it's Brian and Epping on line six. How can I help? I'm Sidney Kay, standing outside the Dog and Fox in Soho, where I'm about to meet a new British boy band phenomenon. They're tipped to storm the charts. This is an exclusive. I never worked a day in my life. I just lay back and let the big beat leave me. Right, let's go in, shall we? Oh, sorry. Sorry, just smash it on the floor. I'm looking for the band. Oh. We are the band. Right, so what do you play then? Nothing. I throw shapes. Bloody good. And you? Well, I mean, I do oohs and ahs, mainly. No! I mean, turn boy bands just a concept. Do you know what I mean? Style of music. You don't have to be a boy. I mean, we're quite proud of not being boys. Right, so how old are you then? Nineteen. Nineteen! Nineteen. Now, look, we've suffered for our hat, we have. We've bloody no. suffered, you insensitive cow! Oh, my oh, God! Bloody Bobby Charlton! <laughs> you just went through a transitional stage. Oh, it's more Marley than Charlton. Ah, in six months, our kids will all have this. Right. You just wait and see. Right. You mean you go on to... No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, Is it on? My name is Dean. Dean Dean. And I am a Dean. My name's Dina Dean. I married Dean when I was just 16. I own a diner, Dina's diner, in Dean. My name's Dean Dean uh, Junior. I live with me mum, Dina Dean, and me dad, Dean Dean Dean. Help me mum in a diner, Dina. Dina's diner, doing the dinners. And he keeps it clean. Don't you, Dean? Unlike his ass. Today, we're planning a special holiday away from Dean. Good. No, Dean. Away from Dean. You're coming with us. And we want to go to Venice. But we can't afford the time away from the diner. So, we're going to Little Venice. Dean, Dean. Dean, it's not in Dean, it's in London. <laughs> Little bugger. This is Jamie. He was recently released back into the community. His carers agreed that his particular problem was untreatable. This is his story. Right. Job centre. I can do it. I'm a gent. Excuse me, wonder if on my next cheque you could top it up a little, say three, four hundred pounds? Right. Oh, bollocks. And we've got somebody else online too. He's a little bit shy. Hello, caller. Name, please. Dean. And where are you from? Dean. And where are you from? Dean. Hello, Dean. And where are you from? Dean. Thank you, caller. Hey, what time is it, 
Dane? Six. Oh, it's nearly time for my program. Oh. Last week on Sunny Creek. Dallas, I love you. I miss you. I'm right here. I need you. <gasps> you lied to me. You used me. I can't take this anymore. Get out of my life. I'm going. I'm gone. You look so like somebody I used to know. I'm coming! I'm having an affair with your brother. Oh my god! Is this just a game to you? Do you know who I am? You're a bitch! I'm rich! Oh my god! Thank you, Sharon. And next, line seven, Hugo from Eton. How can I help? I would like to be a socialist, yet all my friends at Eton are capitalists. What should one do? Hmm, well, that's a tricky one, but I really can sympathise with you, Hugo. I hate capitalists. I mean, why can't they do joined-up writing like everybody else? And moving on, Debbie from Doncaster, how can I help? So, you said earlier that kids, yeah, they've got no experience of love. So that's why they can't write about it. Presumably, then, you have. Oh, I mean, oh, yes, I mean, of course. I mean, <laughs> I've had girlfriends. Have they? No. Well, I have. I've had birds. I know about love. I've been there. I... Oh, bloody hell. Fire. Do you want us to stop the tape? No, no, don't worry about it. It'll be all right in me. It's just a bit of a sore point, this one. It's recently split up with lady friend. The slag! I don't like to talk about feelings in public. I've written a song about it. Oh, you wrote your own material? Well, that's a bit of an unusual concept for a boy band, isn't it? There's a bit in new single, remember, Michael, first chorus. The producer wrote lyric, Oh, baby, get up close and feel good. And we wrote... No, what do I mean? Right, so an entire song, your lyrical contribution was know what I mean. Well, we can't wrote it. I see. Shades of Lennon and McCartney. Any rolled up. We're here to unravel great mysteries of you, Aye, I mean, that's what's unique about this boy band. Do you know what I mean? We don't just look beautiful. Do you know what I mean? I mean, we've actually got something to say. Do you know what I mean? Can boys on claim that? Do you know what I mean? Huh? Hey? You know what I mean? Hey? 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 Bloody hell. So, um, what mysteries are you hoping to unravel on your next single? Ah, my goodness. It's about this bloke. Or oh, it could be a bird. Anyway, a bloke goes into the bar, sees this bird fancies. No, no. Could be a bloke and another bloke. Huh? Oh, bird and bird. Ah, we, we don't mark puffs us. No, no. We, we don't like to be sexual orientation specific. Ah, that's, that's what's great about this band. We appeal to all tastes. Ah. We're truly universal. So it's about getting laid then, like any other pop song? Well, there is danger trying to be too meaningful and alienating your market. Hi, I'm Stan. Stan Francisco, saxophone player to the stars. Now, people are always asking me, Stan, you've worked with some of the big names. What are they like, really? Well, most of them are rude, but that Mark Morrison, he's a right liberty taker. I did a gig with him up in Birmingham. It was raining heavily, so I lent him my coat. I didn't get it back for two years. Still, at least he wrote a song about it. Oh, sorry, sir. Not tonight. You're not dressed appropriately, yeah? I shall try the old Jedi mind trick. Oh. But I am wearing a collar and tie. You're obviously deaf, sir. I said not tonight. These are paint and leather shoes on my feet. My attire is correct. I may go about my business. Move along. Wait, sir, sir. The band's name. Let's move on. What's the meaning behind that? Aye. Pop music is littered with abbreviations. Huh? 
you got the EMF, the KLF, OMD and RAC, and then you got the original boy band, New Kids on Block. A band who we take great inspiration from. Right. That ain't tough, tough kid. Yes, but your name is abbreviated to T-W-A-T. What does that stand for? Happen they're gonna love this, lass. Teenagers with attitude. But attitude is just one word. Are you yeah. sure? Good evening. You're watching The Weather and Leather. I'm Sadie Kay, and I'm looking good. On our chart today, as you can see, it's pretty much cold and frigid everywhere. Although there certainly are signs that temperatures are about to rise. Here is the forecast. After a dull start, an area of high pressure will reach a thunderous climax. By about midnight tonight, most of England will have picked up a storm with enough electricity to set your sheets alight. There'll be stiff breezes and damp patches everywhere. As night goes on, we'll start to see a spurt of sleet and snow before temperatures drop rapidly and depression sets in. It'll be a distinctly frosty morning. Strong wind should help dry those damp patches. But the sun will rise as you do, promising a morning glory. That's about it from the weather and leather. I'm Sadie Kay, and I feel good about myself. <laughs> Is that okay? That's it. That's it. Let's, let's go ahead. Is that good? Is that good? Is that good, baby? Okay, you stay there. I'll be right back, okay? okay. Anybody else? Remember, folks, for all your saxophonic requirements, there's only one man for the job. Stan Francisco. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to all you would-be saxophonists. Never go for the eye notes after ten pints and a curry. Let's try again, shall we? The pigeons are easily frightened, but they'll be back and in greater numbers. Oh. Excuse me, old boy, is this the mode of public transport that would deliver me to some of the delights of Primrose Hill? Um, nothing. Bollocks. Teenagers with advanced thinking. No, 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 it's too bloody pretentious. Teenage warriors on telly. That's twat. Boys, boys, what about reworking the concept differently? What about sexy, handsome, intelligent teenagers? Bloody brilliant! Well, thank you very much, boys. Couple of tits. What's that they say, love? Do you want What's us to sign your tits? Oh, here we go. Move aside. You come back for more, have you, sir? The dark side is uh, strong in you. Are you calling me a puff? I have waited <laughs> one of your Earth weeks for this. <laughs> oh! Uh... That was Obi from the Deco Bar. I think it's in Soho. And moving on to Debbie from Doncaster, line two. How can I help? I am completely and utterly obsessed with shit. Oh, there's no need to be ashamed about that, darling. They're just dreaming. Isn't their new video fab? Oh, baby, get all claws, claws and feel the girl. You know what I mean? Oh, baby, get up, close, close and feel together. And Michael, if you're listening, this is for you. 